Good morning, everybody. Time for another shave. This time we're using another CBL soap. This time it's Russian tea. So this is his interpretation of the Strop Shop Classic Russian tea. Um, and the notes featured are right here. Um, would I get off the tub? I definitely get the, uh, the cinnamon and the uh, clove and the orange are what hit me right in the nose. Really pleasant smell. AJ described it as sticking the, uh, the when you take the cloves and you stick them in the, uh, in the orange and leave it out, and the, the aromatics uh, that that provides. This has a touch of that with something a, a little more. Um, strength of center of the tub is like a three and a half. Um, it's pretty strong. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I'm really looking forward to using this. Uh, I had never used the original Strop Shop Russian tea before. I have never used any original Strop Shop soaps ever. Uh, got into the, the, uh, the hobby a little bit later uh, than, uh, than I... Well, I got into the hobby after they went out of business, so unfortunately. But uh, what we're going to be using, we're going to be using my Shave Mac 26mm. It's a little custom, but it's got the silver tip two band in it and the urn ator sway back straight razor so we'll get over here hopefully this works today if not i'll apologize right now all right so this morning i bloomed it just to see what it would do looks like i get a bit of a residue on the top so loading is going to be all of It's not going to take long for me to load this. That's it. That's all she wrote. Um, so the soap does not need to be bloomed. Period. End of story. Enough said. So this is really only the second one that I will not be blooming in the future. Um, uh, the other thing uh, I really want to hit on right, right up front is yesterday I was talking about... Um, how if you're stateside uh, and you want to get a hold of these soaps um, to contact them, well, he does ship internationally. Um, the only reason I was saying that was specific to the scent because uh, it's almost identical to the Euphros Rose of Bourbon. Now, that being said, I think this is a better soap than uh, Euphros, surprisingly enough. Um, so if you're interested and you are overseas, um, contact him. Uh, I don't think he has set international rates. Um, for shipping so uh, the shipping will be worked out at that time but he does ship internationally uh, let me make that clear um, he will ship internationally so thank you for that question yesterday and in, uh, in yesterday's uh, video um, um, and to, to CBL soaps I'm sorry if I gave the impression that you don't ship internationally when I know you do So the, the consistency of this this lather on the bowl is uh, it reminds me a lot of Declaration. I mean, it's very creamy, very very creamy. Um, I can tell you that the consistency of the lather when I had it on my face yesterday um, was it went on like regular yogurt, and then when I worked it into the face a little bit, it, it turned a little bit more into Greek yogurt, so it thickened up a little bit. Um, and you can see just off of that load how much uh, lather I'm getting. Uh, again, I've got, holy cow, I think that's ready. I just got a three to five inch tail coming off the brush. So, um, yeah, ingredient list is right here. Again, this is the Wagyu beef. Um, and while you're looking at the ingredient list, we're gonna, yeah, that's just, that's just really, really, really good stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hot towel and I'll be right back for the, uh, the shave and the final comments. See you in a second. 
All right, guys, we're back. Let's go right and get right into this. Already flinging lather. I really don't think I'm going to need to add water. Added just enough in the bowl. Well, like I said yesterday, is on the little bit thirsty side of the house. I wouldn't put it in the same category thirst-wise as something like the uh, Project Icarus Silk from Declaration or, or even their Bison Tallow. But I would put it on the same category as like a, uh, maybe an a &E, as far as thirst is concerned. Very least shiny and slick. I had a little more shiny yesterday. That's all good. Let's see how it does today. Needs more water, we'll add water for the second and third pass. Chris Boar. <laughs> I felt I felt like myself catch a zip right there. Oh well. Soap is a bit on the dry side. Um, that's okay. That is easily resolved for passes two and three. This is the same formula as yesterday. I'm not going to bother testing the residual slickness. Um, let's 
So I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my next two passes, adding a little bit of water to the soap, and uh, we'll talk about the soap afterwards. All right, guys, see you in a second. All right, guys, finished up. Really nice shave with uh, CBL Soaps Russian Tea. Um, nice scent, and what I didn't get into is strength of scent when I was on the face. It was about a four uh, strength of scent on the face, so medium strong. And uh, to my nose at least, it might be close to a five. I'm not sure if you can get it much stronger. Uh, but so, is it is it in my wheelhouse? It's got a very bay rummy scent. Um, and and while while I like bay rum, it's not my favorite. It's not something I'm going to turn to all the time. Um, so uh, just for me, and that's a personal preference. Um, not necessarily, um, it, it, it's a nice scent, not my favorite scent, but I did enjoy it. Um, the orange and clove did kind of take me back to, you know, the, the holiday season like KJ mentioned in his video. Um, but the overall feel had a little bit of a, started staring a little bit towards the Bay Rum uh, side of the house. Um, so it, it is what it is. Uh, performance of the soap though it was excellent I was able to add it a bit more water and I just it's it got so shiny shiny it started uh, it, it, the, the light reflecting off it was uh, was pretty impressive uh, good slickness good cushion um, tomorrow I'll be reviewing um, ghost lime and uh, I do have a sample of tobacco edge that Chris graciously sent uh, so yeah, I've got that to go to, to get into, but, and he also sent a nice little coaster. Uh, but uh, tomorrow's going to be Ghost Line, and I'll finish up my uh, my ratings, get my ratings, my my final review, get the score, it's soap it's score. Um, but yeah, www.cblsoaps.com. Uh, again, he does ship internationally. Uh, for anywhere, uh, Conus, it is a standard. Uh, Shipping rate of four dollars and fifty cents, and uh, yeah, so we went ahead and we used the Urn Ator Straight Razor, the Shave Mac twenty six millimeter Silver Tip, and then no splash today. We followed up with Paladin's Unscented Balm infused with some Tom Ford Plum Japanese Eau de Parfum, and then we topped off, and then we finished off with some Vasilis of the uh, Tom Ford. So. Nice shave. If you haven't come by and checked us out at The Shaving Cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. Uh, stop on by, check it out, uh, get involved in some conversations, check out the video form, and uh, hope to see you there, guys. Peace.